Welcome back to Slow Flakes Adventures in Unova! Ah, Unova! Such a clever name when you stop and really think about it. Most people only seem to notice the part where it seems to stand for United States of America. But actually, when you stop and think about the name a little more, well, you can sort of see the Uno, the Jap- uh, Not the Japanese word! The Spanish word! I'm so used to saying the Japanese word for this, the Japanese name for that. Sorry, it just came out on its own, and yeah, really useless trainer tips there. I wonder why it's even here at this point in the game, as if you couldn't have figured it out by now. Is that even possible? Anyway, as I was saying, uh, you can find that as well as Nova, which is the Latin word for new. Which uh, makes sense because Unova is the first region in a brand new area of the Pokemon world that is separated from the other main the series regions such as Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh. As far as I know, Unova is the only uh, region uh, which has its name change depending on the on the language and it's not it, it doesn't just change between between Japanese and English either every language has uh, their own uh, their own name for this region actually the only reason I really know is because I looked it up on Bulba Garden prior to starting the recording but well, Bulba Garden is there for that! So I believe we are now almost on Route 5. There's just an item that I saw down there in the last video. I'm just gonna get it real quick. Here we go, Hyper Potion. And uh, I'm wondering, do I fight that woman next to the... next to that truck here? I'm just gonna take a look real quick. Did I fight her? Yes, I did. I wasn't sure if I forgot about her or something. But it doesn't matter. Uh, now, we can actually move on with the story. Remember those Team Plasma grunts that went to hide in the amusement park uh, like two centuries ago? Well, we're finally going over to the amusement park to try and do something about it. And as we enter, we are met with N, who clearly has figured out the not-so-obvious because I'm not after Team Plasma. I left... I, I gave them hours to flee! And they still haven't done anything. So over there, there's the Ferris wheel that's in the amusement park. So Anne is going to suggest that we go up for a ride and see if we can spot them. But in the immortal words of Admiral Agbar, it's a trap because... And here comes the big plot twist that... If you haven't seen it coming, I feel really, really, really bad for you. Yes, he is the king of Team Plasma, even though with that getup he doesn't look very king-like, if you ask me. But yes, he is the leader of Team Plasma. Either him or gets it. It changes depending on the day of the week or something like that. As I said before, they got a very bicy full structure, so it's sort of hard to tell who's the actual leader. But yeah, officially, N is the king, and you don't get much better than a king. So basically, he's meant to be the leader of Team Plasma. So, um, <laughs> and they came up from behind us! They had the opportunity to flee! So. Oh, I guess they just came back to uh, try and protect N, but in the end, it's going to be N who protects them by covering their escape. Yeah, the king protects his soldiers. Um, when the fuck does that ever happen? Anyway, moving on. We got a boss battle now with N. And as I've said before, uh, these are this is basically going to be a team of freshly caught wild Pokemon from the previous area, uh, which is, of course, the desert. So this fight is not very hard, except for one Pokemon that may be considered one of the toughest Pokemon that N will ever have in this game. But it's not this Sandile. And, oh, Sandile versus Sigilyph. Not a very good matchup. I'm going to try Air Cutter. See if I can kill it off in one hit. Yep, here we go. I don't really remember if it has a dark type move by that point. I do think so, though. Scraggy, now I'm gonna send in uh, Lilligan because um, I don't recommend using Excadrill because of the fighting weakness, and I don't recommend uh, using uh, Sigilyph because of the dark weakness. So I'm just gonna go with Lilligan's 
Giga Drain and see, yep, very easy kill once again. Now, who's next? Darumaka, so that's Excadrill's cue to enter the fray. Of course, I'm going to be going for Dig. Uh, Rock Slide works too, but it has only 90 accuracy, plus Dig is just outright more powerful, so hey, why not? So, let's, let's dig down there. Darumaka used Fire Punch, so it's a good idea that I evaded it because it would have hurt like a motherfucker, and hello, unnecessary critical. Now, this last Pokemon, Sigilith, can give some people trouble if they're unprepared, but fortunately, I have a Rock Slide user on my team right there, so if it connects, it should be once again an easy one hit KO. Here we go, Sigilith goes down. And so N is defeated for the third time. So now N is going to talk to me a little more, and this is where one of the most interesting lines of the game is going to be spoken right here. Take a look at this one. I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. If you bust out the, the, the thesaurus, you're going to see I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Yeah, compare the two lines, you'll see they're the absolute same thing. So, my only hope is to get all the badges and challenge the Pokemon League. And, yeah, if your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. Really? We're resorting to such lame villain lines? I mean, you do know I've been to you three times now, right? Now, let's find the secret item, which is a super repel. Okay, now there are a few NPCs that I can talk to in this area. Just going to, um, yeah, the trash can is empty. Now what we're seeing right now at the top of the screen is the gym. I'm just going to talk to these NPCs. Something that happens um, with the Ferris wheel. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to have defeated this gym or not. I'm, I'm going to check it out. And if I need to have beaten Elisa, I'm going to come back to it later. But uh, for now, I am going to um, just leave and come back, see uh, what happens by the Ferris wheel. So yeah, leaving and coming back, it's, uh, it, it's the video game equivalent of uh, the Microsoft solution, just reboot the computer. Uh, no, we can't do it right now, so the only thing left to do now is to go into the gym. By the way, I didn't go into uh, the big stadium today because, um, well, I don't remember what they're playing, but I looked it up, and it's not soccer. Soccer is the last sport that we haven't checked out yet, so we're going to get another fresh water um, for our troubles, or lag thereof, because this is the entrance of the gym. But yeah, the, this is the, this gym is basically um, nothing but a, but a but a roller coaster ride, which is appropriate because, uh, well, this is an amusement park and the gym is uh, part of the amusement amusement park. Electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground type moves, so uh, unless your name is Imolga, then it might get a little more complicated. Now I'm gonna send Excadrill in the lead, but fortunately Excadrill has Rock Slide for dealing with Emolgas, so it's not really that much of a problem. Speaking of Emolgas, Elisa, the gym leader of this place, is most famous for her pair of aggravating Emolgas. You thought I was going to say pair of something else, huh? Well, no, that would not be Elisa, that would be Skyla. Though I guess Elisa could also work by proxy because Skyla and Elisa are a very popular pairing among fan artists. So yeah, Elisa is one of the most infamously aggravating gym leaders because, quite frankly, I don't know why. If you're not using Excadrill, then you're probably using uh, Crocorock at this point, so you really should be prepared uh, to uh, neutralize its Vault Switch, even though uh, Crocorock doesn't have much in the way of rock moves at this point, it still should make things fairly easy. So yeah, it has... Uh, Elisa has quite a nasty reputation, but quite frankly, it's mostly because people are just really, really unprepared. Even though, yeah, if you don't have a ground type, it might be painful, but still. 
Uh, now, something that I just wanted to point out real quick. The other day on my blog, which you can find a link to on my channel's front page, I made a list of all the ongoing events for both uh, uh, the main series games and uh, Pokemon Conquest. I did make a mistake, though. The Reshiram event for Conquest is not available right now. It was originally meant to be available uh, starting uh, July 30th, but unfortunately, uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's been delayed or if it was just fake information being passed around, but it's only going to be available starting on August 17th, I believe. So if you want your Reshiram in that game, you're going to have to wait a little while longer. But uh, back to the game for a bit, one complaint that I have with this gym is the utter lack of variety in Pokémon. It's always Blitzel and, and Emolga all the time, except for Elisa, who has a Zep Strika. But otherwise, no Joltik, no Tynamo, probably because they're only encountered later in the game. But what's wrong with showcasing some Pokémon in a gym that can only be caught a bit later in the game? I mean, really? Just Blitzel and Emolga? You can't really make... Uh, a gym out of that. Um, am I going to have a roller coaster anytime soon? Ah, here we go. And whoa! I was not really expecting that, even though the guy at the entrance did say that you're going to uh, be jacking some rides on the way over to Elisa. Uh, okay, I got a few minutes left, so now I just want to talk about a feature in the game that I won't be covering in this Let's Play, but I still want to talk about it uh, for a completion's sake. Uh, it's the Entralink. The Entralink's, pur the Entralink's purpose is twofold. By the way, it can be accessed from the Sea Gears, and I believe it's uh, the wireless function. I don't really remember the Sea Gear by heart because I don't use it very much. But um, yeah, the 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 Entralink. Uh, its purpose is twofold. Uh, this is where you go to get Pokemon that you met through the Dream World. And also, uh, you can also uh, play with friends uh, that have the game. You can do missions that will give you prizes in uh, pass balls. The, the, the missions can vary from, you know, finding someone or getting an item to battling someone. There's a, ra uh, there's a rather wide array of, of uh, missions to do, though they aren't really all that exciting. But it doesn't matter, you get pass balls as a prize, and with these pass balls you can use special uh, powers called pass powers uh, that have temporary effects but that are very beneficial. For example, you can win extra experience for, uh, from Pokémon you defeat for a couple minutes. Here we go, I was wondering when this thing would get here. But yeah, it's never been something that I really bothered with, so if you want more information, you should uh, look it up on uh, Cerebi or Bulba Garden, because I'm not really qualified to talk about the Entralink very much. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, I just love it when it opens and there's someone that's already inside. I don't know why, I guess I'm just easily amused at times. But, um... Yeah, I guess I should mention that uh, pass orbs can also easily be obtained in the dream world. They're rather common there. So, um, yeah, that about does it for this very quick uh, explanation of the Entralink. From my understanding, it gets a lot more interesting in black and white too, but uh, that still weighs off until I can actually try it. Because, yeah, that's something else. Uh, I've got people asking me for my opinion on Black and White 2, but seriously, how can I have an honest, quality opinion unless I have played it? It's just something that I, that I don't understand. So, uh, I guess this was the last underling in Elisa's gym, I believe, so now I'm left waiting, waiting, waiting once again for... Uh, for uh, a ride to come by. Here we go. So next time, we're going to be fighting Elisa, one of the unholy terrors of this game, unless you're properly equipped like I am.